Sveiki Latvia and participants in the Riga conference. Thank you very much to the Latvian Transatlantic Organization for inviting me to join with you today, just a week after our terrific uh, NATO summit in Wales. I think we all have a lot to be proud of with the outcome of the Wales summit, where we demonstrated uh, to our people that NATO is strong and prepared in this complicated, dangerous time to meet any challenge. As the President said uh, when he was in Tallinn last week, we will defend our NATO allies, and that means every ally. There's no such thing as an old ally or a new ally, no junior partners or senior partners. We will defend every single ally and its territorial integ integrity. Uh, the defense of Tallinn, Riga, and Vilnius is just as important as the defense of Berlin, Paris, and London. And we made that real at Wales with the readiness action plan that brings NATO forces on land, sea, and air to the eastern edge of our alliance where they are needed most. The United States is particularly proud to have its own soldiers deployed in all three Baltic states, more than 100 in Latvia today. And we're also proud that so many NATO partners have joined us in these deployments. Latvia is a country that punches well above its weight and has for years in NATO deployments, whether in Kosovo or in Afghanistan, working with the Michigan National Guard in Liberia, and also contributing to EU missions in CAR and in Mali. And we are particularly gratified that the government of Latvia, along with uh, the government of Lithuania, has now made a pledge to be at 2 percent defense spending by 2020. Uh, joining the already strong showing in the alliance by Estonia. As important as our readiness action plan is, the other uh, initiatives that we made at Wales are also important to NATO's future. Because even as we ensure that we mean what we say by Article 5 and the defense of allied territory is solid, we also have to continue to make a strong contribution to global security. The Enhanced Partnership Program will ensure that we continue to work uh, well and strongly with those partners who contribute the most to our alliance. And the Defense Capacity Building Initiative will allow NATO more efficiently and effectively to continue to export security training and defense capacity building to partners around the world, and particularly those on the other side of the Mediterranean, but also to our partners to the east of the alliance. Equally importantly at Wales was the strong statement of political and security support that all 28 allies gave to our partner Ukraine at this very difficult moment in her history. All 28 members of the alliance pledged concrete security assistance to Ukraine, either bilaterally or through the trust funds, and made clear that we stand with her in her uh, effort to protect and secure her sovereignty and territorial integrity, her democratic future, her European future. I also want to take this opportunity uh, to thank uh, allies for the conversation that we have begun at Wales about the importance of defeating the threat to all of our nations and territory that, the, uh, that ISIL now poses. As was discussed at the Wales conference, this co global coalition that we are building is going to take every single nation. And we were gratified by the strong statements of, of support that we heard at NATO, and now we have to turn this into concrete action military support to defeat ISIL, humanitarian assistance to those who are suffering, uh, working against uh, foreign fighters in our midst who are going back and forth and now pose a threat to European territory when they come home, blocking ISIL finance, drying it up wherever it is hiding, and countering the ideology of extremism wherever we find it. As we work to secure NATO territory within our borders, we also need to continue to make that strong global contribution. I'm very uh, gratified for the conversation that you'll be having there in Riga. I wish I could be with you in person, but I look forward to hearing about it. Thank you very much for having me by video today. Thanks.